You give oh. all the girls so much love and you find hidden beauty in so many different people. Do you feel like the industry is moving towards Definitely. that way? But I do feel the industry has caught up. I feel like in back in the day, people were like, what is she talking about? Plus size girls. Now it's curvy and it's just normal and it's not like niche, yeah. you know? And, and, and so many different things and different physical characteristics of girls where, you know, people felt insecure about looking that way. But then over time with Top Model and me and my judges saying, that's beautiful, that's interesting, that's unique, that's quirky. Now I think we have changed the definition of beauty worldwide. Yeah, I said it. No, 100%. I mean, you broke the mold of what a model, like what the body was supposed to be like, and you gave this a supermodel a voice. Yes. You were talented, you were smart, and now you have the Kais and the Bellas and the Gigi's. What do you think they're gonna leave on the industry? I am so happy that they are here because I do feel that the supermodel was kind of dying. Yeah. Like after my generation and Heidi Klum and Giselle Bundchen, I felt like we were kind of the last of that, like the reign, yeah. the queens. And then it was like, wah, wah, what's happening? And then in come those girls. So I really think that they're gonna leave this like social media mark that you can't just be liked by the industry, like the people, everyone has to feel some type of connection to you, not just the powers that be that talk like this, even though they're from Arkansas, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, but then what's gonna happen is, now robots and avatars are gonna take the place of the top girls of today. You think that's happening? Oh yeah, you're not gonna need a human. Why, mm -hmm. why pay a human and like you have to feed her and like <laughs> deal with like, oh my God, she's late and it's costing us so much money. A robot will be on time, honey. What year do you think that's happening? Well, it's happening right now, already. Yes, if you, do you follow Lil Michaela? Yes. Yeah, hello. Okay, that's crazy. It's I happening that was right now. It's not a fluke. And then there's another one. I can't remember. She is a, a beautiful chocolate, almost like um, West African looking model. Have you seen her? Mm -mm. I can't remember her name. She's amazing. I thought it was a, a real person back And it's day. a lot. And I, I reposted it on my Instagram. and was like, she's amazing. <laughs> and last week I saw that it was not a human being. So it's coming. And thank God I have had my supermodel moment before yeah. a robot took my spot. Honey, no one's gonna ever take your spot. Well, because it's the past. <laughs> no, you are one of a kind. <laughs> but speaking of your supermodel moment, you and Heidi have had such a long career working together, and now again on America's Got yes. Talent. Was there any uh, like any rivalries between your two? Us a stolen two? Co cover, a missing million dollar bra. Yes, I stole Heidi's German sausages. <laughs> she stole my barbecued ribs. I don't know. No, we've never. I've never had that with Heidi Klum yeah. ever. We were very like close on set. We were Victoria's Secret models together, and we were like on set, and we used to like do um, our own choreography to Destiny's Child songs back in the day, like in between shots. She'd be like, "I don't think you're ready." I'd be like, "Follow this jelly," and we would be in the mirror like doing that with wings on our back, like crazy. Like we had fun.